Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India we have been discussing about the restricted three body problem and in that context we have uh, worked out the Langrange points 4 and 5 and whose coordinate also the expression for the uh, coordinates uh, also we derived. Okay. So, uh, recalling what we have done earlier, so these are the equations of motion we have derived in the synodic frame. And uh, later on, as I told you, that if we assume u to be this, the u given by the expression which is given in the equation number 7, so the same equation can be reduced to this form x double dot minus 2 omega y dot dou u y dou x. Now, in the case omega equal to 1, so you can see that this uh, x double dot minus 2 y dot this gets simplified. Okay. Similarly, this equation gets reduced to this format using uh, this u okay, and this gets reduced to this format and that is based on the uh, and once we assume omega equal to 1. So, in that case omega basically we are eliminating from uh, this becomes 1 here in this place and also it will become 1 and 1 here in this place and all these places wherever it is shown. So, you get a simplified form this and then we discuss the double points. So, double points we stated that these are the points where dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou u by dou z all these are 0. Uh, double points are the points where the uh, curve self intersects itself or it is uh, the cross section uh, 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 surface self intersects itself. So, for this what we see that for a uh, surface on which v equal to 0 implying x dot equal to y dot equal to 0. Okay, so, velocity is 0. So, all the components of velocity is 0 in this expression. Okay. So, in that condition this will be satisfied if x double dot equal to y double dot equal to z double dot. So, uh, both sides will be satisfied this equation, this equation and this equation as we can see. So, both sides will be satisfied if this quantity is 0. So, a surface of 0 velocity and there the acceleration also 0. So, basically the uh, if we recall the Langrange points we have derived. Okay. So, Langrange points, points L 1, L 2, L 3, L 4 and L 5. Out of this, the 4 and 5 we have already worked out. So, these are the stationary points, points or the equilibrium points as we have written earlier. And this is a special case of the Langrange solution provided by Langrange earlier. So, this is a stationary solution of a more general more general solution which is termed as Lagrange solution 
to the restricted three body problem and if time permits i will take this up uh, otherwise uh, i will provide just uh, 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 otherwise, I will provide uh, uh, written material for this particular part. So, now let us go into the collinear Lagrange points which are L1, L2, and L3. and these are obviously the stationary solutions stationary solution in the synodic frame so if we have masses here m1 and m2 this is m1 and m2 are the masses b is the barycenter as we have considered here so the l1 point as we know the uh, other solution is the triangular one l4 and l5 so l4 and l5 we have already determined this is L 4 and L 5 mass m is here mass m is here this already we have worked out. So, L 1 and L 2 L 3. So, L 3 lies on this side. So, say so this point let us say this is L 3 and somewhere on this side we will have L 2 and uh, L 1 is located here in middle between. So, these are the three other Langrange points which are collinear that is they lie on the same axis or they are collinear with each other and the axis how we have chosen we have chosen x x in this direction and in this direction we have taken y s. So, now if we look into this part in the equation 3. Okay. So, what we can observe that the for the stationary points y double dot is 0 and x dot is also 0. So, we are getting here minus omega square y equal to minus mu 1 by r 1 cube mu 2 by r 2 cube y and uh, this minus sign can be eliminated we can make it plus then obviously if, if y is not equal to 0 already the solution we have got and that was the context for l4 and l5 this were related to y not equal to 0 but if y equal to 0 so, you can immediately see that both sides are satisfied this also becomes 0 and this also becomes 0. So, therefore, y is also a solution. So, y equal to 0 is also a solution. Okay, and this can be utilized for further 
and already we have got that uh, for L 4 L 5 z was equal to 0. Okay. So, th this was the situation and this is also valid here. So, z is also equal to 0 in this case, okay. because in that case you have you are taking this equation and z double dot equal to 0. So, uh, and the uh, it is a bound to be then the z is bound to be 0, there is no other option because the r 1 and r 2 they are non zero. Okay. So, now we have these two conditions available y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, we have to find out what will be the value of the x, this is the question here. So, objective is find the value of x which will satisfy equation. Now, uh, we take the first equation here and put here x double dot equal to 0 and y dot equal to 0 because that corresponds to the stationary point. So, we will have minus omega square x minus omega square x equal to minus mu 1 by r 1 cube x minus x b 1 minus mu 2 by r 2 cube x minus x b 2. So, find the value of or values of x which will satisfy equation given below. And already we have observed that this quantity is nothing but mu by r 1 to whole cube, okay. where in the last lecture we have discussed there. So, again I am not discussing here, where mu equal to mu 1 plus mu 2, means mu equal to g times m 1 plus m 2, mu 1 is g times m 1, mu 2 is g times m 2. So, this equation then equation 9 can be simplified simplified as follows mu by r 1 to whole cube x this becomes mu 1 by r 1 cube x minus x b 1 plus mu 2 by r 2 q x minus x b 2. And if we solve this equation for x, okay, so we get the Langrange points L 1, L 2, and L 3. And here we need to uh, simplify it, we have to write in terms of, okay, right now it is a no, in the non normalized form. So, we will put it in normalized form, so that the further processing or uh, working with the equation will be much easier. So, dividing both sides of equation 10 by mu and replacing x b 1 by mu 2 r 1 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2 and x b 2 by mu 1 r 1 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2, this we have derived in the last lecture 
so again i will not repeat it so this is basically your mu by mu 2 r 1 2 and this is mu 1 by mu r 1 2 and as we remember that uh, mu 2 plus mu 2 a star plus mu 1 a star on the normalized scale we take this as 1 and mu 2 especially we denote by mu a star. So, this quantity then becomes 1 minus mu a star so that both sides are satisfied. Okay. So, we follow that notation. So, if we follow this notation, so immediately you can see that. So, what we have done that mu 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2 we are writing as mu a star. So, if we follow this notation, so this becomes mu a star r 1 2 and this becomes 1 minus mu a star r 1 2. So, we will use this information uh, in the equation 10. So, in the equation 10 then we have x is on the left hand side. So, x we will take here mu is going on the right hand side we will divide it. So, mu will cancel from the left side uh, it is a very easy to see uh, what I am stating you must be understanding. So, uh, there is no need of further uh, writing here. So, simply I write x divided by r 1 2 q this equal to and the right side mu I have already divided. So, mu 1 by mu that becomes 1 minus mu so 1 minus mu a star ok let me write the whole step that will be better here. So, what I am trying to say that we can write this as x by r 1 2 whole q this equal to mu 1 by mu divided by r 1 q x minus x b 1 and plus mu 2 by mu divided by r 2 whole q x plus x b 2 mu 1 by already we have written here mu 1 by mu this is nothing but 1 minus mu a star and mu 2 by mu this is nothing but mu a star. So, we replace with that. So, we get here 1 minus mu a star divided by r 1 q and here this is x minus x b 1. So, x b 1 is mu a star r 1 2 and plus mu 2 this becomes mu a star one minus mu a star r 1 2. which we are picking from this place. Okay. Then what we do that we take out r 1 2 from this place. So, if we do this mu a star divided by r 2 q this is mu a star. Now, divide both side by r 1 2. So, this will become x by r 1 2 divided by r 1 2 whole q
and then we will put so this equation we will name as this 10 11 this is equation number 11. So, put here put in equation 11 x by r 1 2 equal to capital X. So, making it dimensionless already other quantities are whatever are involved. So, you can see that uh, r 1 q of course, r 1 r 2 only unless it, we do the normalization. So, uh, they are on the original scale here, but x by writing x by r 1 2 that makes it uh, non dimensional. Okay. So, equation 11 can be written as x divided by r 1 2 whole cube. this equal to x minus capital X minus mu star divided by r 1 q plus x plus 1 minus mu star divided by r 2 cube. Now, R 1 cube and R 2 cube we need to replace. So, if you remember R 1 square we have written as x minus x b 1 square plus y square plus z square and R 2 square equal to x plus x b 2 square plus y square plus z square. So, if y equal to 0 and z equal to 0, so r 1 square this can be replaced by x minus x b 1 square and r 2 square can be replaced by x plus x b 2 square ok and here then so we will utilize this expression here okay. so this is our equation number 12 is equation number 12 r 1 is a scalar quantity a scalar positive value ok. Similarly, r 2 this is a positive scalar quantity because this is just the distance ok. So, it cannot be negative. So, what we do now that uh, we take x b out of this and let us write this as r 1 q. So, r 1 q will be x minus x uh, b 1. So, here also we need to replace the same way as we have done earlier. We use this information x b 1 and x b 2 which we have utilized here. This is x b 2 and this is x b 1. So, x b 1 is mu star times r 1 2. this equal to x minus mu star times r 1 2 or let us write it this way and then this we can write as if we take r 1 or 2 outside. So, this becomes x minus mu star capital X because x divided by r 1 2 we are writing as capital X. 
so therefore x minus x b 1 can be written like this ok. Similarly, x plus x b 2 this can be written as r 1 2 times x minus 1 minus mu star. Therefore, from here immediately we can see that x minus x b 1 cube this will be equal to r 1 2 cube x minus mu star and r 1 2 cube x minus 1 minus mu star whole cube this is also whole cube. and say this is 13. So, putting 13 into 12 putting 13 into 12 yields x by r 1 to whole cube and because this is distance involved so, this should always be positive. So, this extra mod sign we will introduce. Okay. So, therefore, you have x minus mu star ok. We have uh, missed out here the mu 1 also this part was there. So, th this part we have missed out. So, here 1 minus mu star was missing this part is there. So, we introduced that also and in this place we have mu star. So, mu star is also introduced. Okay. So, this way we have here 1 minus mu star okay, times r 1 2 cube x capital X minus mu star mod whole cube plus x plus 1 minus mu star divided by r 1 to whole cube mod this is here plus okay, because this is plus x b 2 plus 1 minus mu star whole cube and then this multiplied by mu star. So, this is our equation number 14 and immediately we can see from this place that these terms because it is a non zero. So, they drop out and what we get. So, finally, we are left with the equation x equal to 1 minus mu star x minus mu star divided by x minus mu star whole cube and plus mu star times x plus 1 minus mu star divided by one minus mu star mod whole cube. So, th this is the equation we have got in normalized form. So, this is normalized equation which will held the collinear Lagrange points and we need to solve this equation. So, if, uh, we end here this lecture and we will continue in the next lecture with the same stuff here and uh, we will solve this equation for L 1, L 2 and L 3. Let us see uh, how do we work it out. 
and there is uh, an alternate method of doing the same problem uh, which is very straightforward and uh, i will also take up uh, that issue so uh, first let us conclude this part and thereafter we will take this so i am doing uh, a particular problem in different ways so that you become aware of the fundamentals okay and uh, because now we have uh, no scope for uh, working out the problems because uh, already we are lagging a lot so i will try to uh, add some extra lectures related to problem solving for the uh, fifth week and the uh, sixth week uh, till fourth week i have week i have uh, done certain problems but for the fifth week i have not done so i will add as an uh, addendum to that so thank you very much uh, we'll start with the next lecture thereafter